Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So today we have a request tutorial on creating the Big Bang, and this is what I have come up with. Okay, so basically we just start with a flash of light, um, and then we just have a little bit of particles, which really uh, happened in the Big Bang, which like I guess a bunch of particles uh, come after the flash, and then over like you know millions of years or whatever, then galaxies uh, are formed, probably billions of years. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but um, basically a, a lot of uh, science you know animation videos where they talk about the Big Bang, they just go straight to like galaxies after the Big Bang. So that's basically what I created, and this is something very similar to what I saw in um, a lot of these you know si science you know astronomy videos about the Big Bang. So. We're going to go ahead and create this. And it's a really cool tutorial. You don't need any plugins, but if you do have optical flares or no light factory, that would be awesome. So, But um, we really won't be do using any optical flares. Um, and if, anyway, let's go ahead and just get started on this. So, I'll create a new composition and we'll go ahead and call this one uh, Tut Main and 1920 by 1080 is good. And I'm going to click OK. And then let's go ahead and maybe like import some of our galaxy uh, photos here. And, um, Basically, you know, just for this tutorial, I went out into deep space and I just took some, you know, some photos. And I want to apologize for some of these photos, like this one right here where, like, we clipped out the blacks. Um, it's really dark in space and, you know, I, there's only so much I could do about that. So, sorry that we don't have any information in the black. So, I'm not really a great photographer, but... Um, <laughs> okay, I just pulled them off of Google Images. So, what we need to do is we need to start with one of our galaxies and we need to mask it out. So what I'll do is go to uh, our shape mask up here and go to the ellipse tool. And then what I'll do is go to like the center of our galaxy and hold down command shift and alt on my keyboard. And I'll draw a perfect circle. If you're on a um, PC, it's control alt and shift. So what I'll do, there we have a perfect uh, mask, and then what I can do here is hit F on my keyboard to bring up the mask feather, and we'll go ahead and just really feather feather that out, and that looks pretty awesome. Let me go ahead and turn off that. Perfect. So then once that's done, what we'll do is we'll go up to layer pre-compose, and we can call this galaxy one or something, and move all attributes into new composition, and click OK. And then we have to do the same thing for Galaxy 2, and let me hide that, and what we'll do is go to the ellipse tool, and we'll do the same exact thing, and we'll want to repeat that uh, for each of the galaxies, and you don't really want to go over the edge of the actual uh, photo, because that's when you'll start to see, like, uh, you know, rectangles instead of circle galaxies, um, so we'll keep that in mind, and then once again, we'll go ahead and just pre-compose it again, Galaxy 2. And then we do it for the other two images as well, so I'll be right back when that's done. Okay, so we have our cutouts for four galaxies, and then what we'll do is just keep them turned off for now since we don't need them right now, but I wanted to get that out of the way. And let's go ahead and create a new solid, so we'll go up to Layer, New, Solid, and we'll call this, uh, you know, maybe Big Bang, I don't know. It's really just a lens flare layer, and uh, black is all good, and then we'll click OK. And then let's go to Effect, Generate, and we'll click on the Lens Flare effect, which is right here. And let's go ahead and set it to like, I don't know, 35 prime. Um, and let's go ahead and put this in the center here. And maybe we'll do 105. Yeah, that's what I had. Okay, so basically we're just using a basic Lens Flare here instead of going to Optical Flares. So, so let's go ahead and um, basically we want to have it come on like slowly and then really just you know, like bang right on there. So. Um, let's go ahead and like set all this down. There's flare brightness to 0% and let's go ahead and click the stopwatch for flare brightness and let's hit U on our keyboard with this layer selected to bring up the keyframes to zoom in here. And let me bring this forward a little bit so maybe we'll start the animation at one second. So we have complete blackness for uh, one second. And then what we'll do is maybe go to like two seconds, 12 frames maybe. And we'll have like a slow like peak. So maybe we'll set the flare brightness up to like maybe 26% ish. And then what we'll do is select this keyframe. Actually, you know what? I'm jumping ahead here. But then let's go ahead and move forward in time a little bit to maybe like four seconds or, you know, maybe three seconds, 12 frames. And let's go ahead and bring the flare brightness down a little bit. So it'll kind of like flicker on here. So it'll go 
it'll kind of gradually go up and then it'll go back down quickly. And then uh, once it goes back down, then we really want to blow this thing out. So we'll do something like that. So go up to like 200%. So what we'll do is we'll make our two first keyframes here uh, easy as by hitting F9 on our keyboard. And then we'll go to our graph editor here. And let's go ahead and maybe go to the first point. And let's go ahead and maybe just like drag that out a little bit. So it'll kind of just like slightly come on and then it'll come on a little bit faster and then it'll slow down. And then it'll just like go straight to like a big bang. So I think that's interesting. Okay, so with that created, um, basically you'll see we need to what I'll do is I'll have this kind of fade out. So let's see, maybe like right here, I'll hit T on my keyboard, bring up the opacity, click the stopwatch, move forward in time, and then I'll lower the opacity. So it'll just come on just like that. Okay, so now let's go ahead and create like some particles. So what we'll do is go ahead and create a new solid and we'll call this one uh, basic particles. Okay, and then we'll go to Effect, Simulation, CC Particle World. Okay, and let's go ahead and turn off all the grids and guides, since I never use them. Okay, and let's solo this layer. And let's also duplicate this layer for later, and let's go ahead and just turn it off, so we don't have to have the guides later. So, uh, what we'll do is we'll go to the particle, and we'll set it to a faded sphere. And then let's go to the physics and let's set the gravity to zero. And then let's go ahead and set this, the color of these particles. So we'll go to like birth color and maybe make it set it to white. And then maybe go to the depth color and maybe set it to, uh, I don't know, blue or something. It just, it really should just be white. Um, but maybe a little bit of color isn't a bad thing. So now let's go ahead and maybe bring down the uh, birth size a little bit and the depth size. So we can make these particles just a little bit smaller. And then maybe we can uh, ramp up the birth rate. All right. So we take a look at this. The particles are coming at us. So uh, they're not really, you know, there's no depth in this. So what we'll do is go to the producer and we will uh, increase the radius Z by a lot. So now it looks like they will be coming at us. So we take a look. Yep, looks exactly like it's coming right for us. And let's go ahead and increase the longevity because these die after a second. So let's increase the longevity like just by a lot doesn't really matter. I mean, it really just needs to be longer than what, what longer than uh, the particles are going to be up for. So, okay, that's pretty good. And then what we'll do is probably like, let's see, let's unsolo this layer. And once the, right, so right there, this is where we want the particles to really start coming out. So what we'll do is move this layer like all the way to the beginning here. So it'll just like, come on. You know, we'll probably move it over forward a little bit more. There we go. There we go. So there we have some particles. And then um, right here, we want them to kind of stop. So we'll just go ahead and go up to uh, layer, sorry, edit split layer. And then I'll just delete this. Okay. And then now it's time for the fun part. And that's to do uh, the actual galaxies. So what we'll do is for our basic particles here, we'll turn it back on and then we'll go to the uh, particle and we'll set it to a textured quad polygon. Okay, and then under texture right here, we go, we go to texture layer and we'll set it to like galaxy one. And as you see, we have our galaxies right here and we got to fix the physics again. So I'm gonna go to the physics um, and set the gravity to zero because there's no gravity in space or Supposedly just very little gravity in space. Anyway, this is not science, but um, let's go here and let's see. Uh, let's zoom forward here. Okay, so once again, we have to go to the producer and let's increase the radius Z. So we have all this depth and these galaxies will fly by right at us. Okay, and we want the animation to kind of like already be in it and we want it to kind of start like right here. And we'll go ahead and move this layer underneath our Big Bang layer. And then let's go ahead and just trim this up like right here. So as the flare starts to die down, we already have galaxies. So maybe we'll have it start like right here, right at the 100 opacity keyframe. And that looks pretty good. And then what we can do um, is maybe increase the uh, you know, radius Y and maybe the X a little bit. Interesting. And then we need to raise the longevity to like, I don't know, 10. And then maybe, I don't know, it looks pretty good. 
Uh, I'm okay with that. Okay, and then when we're done with this, uh, let's go ahead and let's uh, duplicate this layer by going up to Edit, Duplicate. And then let's go to the uh, particles again and let's set the texture to our second galaxy. And it basically just replaces the other particles. Uh, so what we need to do is go to Extras and we need to change the random seed. Um, and that will offset everything. So we just have some variations of you know galaxies in here so we're not using the same galaxy over and over. And of course the more uh, textures that you have for galaxies, the more you know detail there will be. So that's interesting. So once again, we, what we need to do is we'll just go ahead and duplicate both of these particle layers and then we'll go to the third particle layer and once again go to the particle and we'll change the texture of this to you know galaxy 3 and then once again random seed and then there we have that one and then go to the next uh, last particle layer uh, the particle galaxy layer actually it's basic particles wow I didn't rename them doesn't matter so we'll go to the texture and set it to galaxy 4 and go to random seed alright so now we have some galaxies and if we want to add some detail in here since everything looks a little bit red what I can do is maybe go to like one of these galaxy layers and I can like click on the layer and go to effect and maybe go to tint color correction tint and maybe what we can do is maybe set it to like purple or something and maybe change the blend the amount of tint there and then we go back to our main touch see the color has changed a little bit okay so now what we can do uh, and I am going to use optical flares for this next part but uh, you can always like just pull a base image off the internet um, and just add a brightness and contrast effect to what we're about to do so um, what I'll do is create a new solid and we'll call this one uh, flare and we'll click OK and then we'll go to effect video copilot optical flares and I'll click options and I'm just going to create a basic flare so I'm going to go ahead and clear all and I'm going to select the glow and streak and I'm going to go to the streak properties and I'm going to go ahead and just like lower the brightness down on that a little bit alright and then I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to go ahead and center this flare and this will kind of just like be what's left over, I guess, after the big flash. I don't know if you would just want to emphasize the Big Bang. And this is something I guess you would do. And then I'm going to go to the uh, blend mode. And then I'm going to click add for the flare layer. And I'm going to go ahead and maybe just put this underneath the basic particles. You know what? Let me leave it on top. I think that's cool. All right. And then um, once again, we'll go ahead and close this layer up to right here. And then we'll go to the flicker properties. And we'll go ahead and just increase the speed by a little bit and the amount by a little bit as well and so this will kind of just flicker by and maybe we'll go ahead and lower the brightness down to maybe like 70 so it does, that doesn't look too shabby so we have all these galaxies in here and if you want to add maybe a little bit more animation what we can do is go up to layer new camera and uh, we'll just click OK and then uh, let's go ahead and maybe start maybe an animation right here. So what I'll do is I'll hit P on my keyboard for position and I'll click the stopwatch for position and maybe we'll move forward in time maybe to however long we want this animation to be. So just like maybe nine seconds. And I'll go to our camera tools at the top here and I will select the track Z camera tool. And what we'll do is maybe just like zoom out as these particles kind of fly towards us as well. I don't know, I thought that was a little bit interesting. So then we see all these galaxies and there's like supposedly and then observable universe, 100 billion galaxies. So that looks like a lot of galaxies, that's for sure. Um, of course, these would not have been created uh, this quickly after the Big Bang. But anyways, this is looking pretty interesting. What we, else we can do is maybe toggle switches and mode and turn on motion blur for each of the layers, except for the flare layer, we don't need that. And then turn on motion blur for the uh, composition. So we need to create some stars. So go ahead and create a new solid and we'll call it stars. And we'll go up to Effect, Simulation, uh, CC Particle World. And let's go to the uh, producer. And let's go ahead and just increase the radius Y, X. And we don't really need to increase the Z. So uh, what we'll do is go to the particle. And we'll just do a faded sphere as, as always. And then let's go ahead and solo this layer real fast. And let's increase the birth rate by a lot. And I mean a lot. And then let's go ahead and take down the birth size and the depth size as well. All right, and let's go ahead and set these just to white. 
and that's the uh, birth color and death color. And maybe we'll increase the birth rate a little bit more. And let's go ahead and increase the longevity to uh, just 30. And then we need to go, go to the physics and we need to set the gravity to zero so it doesn't move. And uh, maybe we'll go to the radius Z and just set that to zero. All right, and we shouldn't have any movement, so we need to go to the velocity and set that to zero as well. All right, so there's that. Okay, so then we'll go to like five seconds, and then let's go to the birth rate, and we'll hit you on our keyboard, and then we'll go forward a little bit, and then we'll set the birth rate to like zero, and so the particles will stop being created. And then what we'll do is go ahead and drag this layer underneath our particles here, and let's go ahead and unsolo the layer. And we have a lot of particles, so that's not really that good. So I'm going to go to the birth rate, and let's go ahead and just adjust that to like bring that way down. And that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Okay, so this is what we have. So um, it looks pretty good at the start. Um, some of these masks might need to be re refined um, around the galaxies, and these galaxies might come out just a little bit too fast, so you can just uh, lower the velocity if that's not really what you're looking for. But I think it looks pretty cool, and now you can kind of do the Big Bang Theory. So, pretty interesting. So if you guys have any questions or have any requests for tutorials, please drop a comment down below or hit me up on my social media networks, links in the description. And if you like this video, please drop a like, it helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. And guys, thank you so much for watching, and hopefully, I'll see you soon.